Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for April. Hope everybody is doing well. I am gonna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. So if it's not resonating, guys, just take what does resonate, leave the rest for someone else. Or you can check your other signs and placements to see if those readings resonate better. Keep in mind the energies can and often do reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Sagittarius, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Sagittarius? Oh. All right, Spirit, I'm going to need it a little bit more clear than that. Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, you are starting out with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You have the Three of Pentacles reversed, and you have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So there's some sort of a karmic lesson or a karmic cycle that you may be experiencing currently. I do see that there's a foundation that has broken down or a contract that um, is either ended or um, you're, you're not interested in working through. I feel like, um, you do have some sort of an ending here. Um, it's a completion of sorts. So you're at the end of whatever this cycle is. I do see that there is a sense of loss. Be very careful because money could be an issue for you this week. And I do feel like, um, you know, you have a lot of love in some situation here that you're kind of holding back on. Um, you're not expressing yourself emotionally. So let's see who is in your energy. Show me, who, show me who's in Sagittarius energy, please. All right, so the person in your energy has the King of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So this person that's in your energy is, um, they're working very hard. I can see that. They're very much focused on their money, their work. They're also holding back emotionally. Both of you are. Um, there's a lot of love here on both sides, but I see that neither of you are expressing emotions towards each other. Um, and in fact, this person is really looking back at the past. Um, there's a sense here that this person can't see the love that's present because they're so focused on the past. Um, for some of you, they could be focused on a third party as well. So um, if that doesn't apply to you, just, you know, let, leave it to whoever it does apply to. But either way, I see that there's a lot of love here. It's just that nobody's expressing this. Let's see the energy between the two of you. You could be dealing with an earth sign. That would be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a water sign, which would be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Yeah, four of pentacles. You're both very guarded. You're both extremely guarded. Um, one or both of you could be holding on to a grudge of some sort. I do feel that you're both kind of holding on to the connection, but not expressing anything. So let's see what's affecting this connection. Show me what's affecting this connection. All right, we have the Seven of Wands reversed and the Hermit. So this person's not speaking. They're, they're keeping very quiet. Um, they're doing a lot of thinking, though. There's a lot of contemplation. They've kind of turned within. I do feel like they are in, deep in thought about this connection. And I feel like you feel almost powerless in this situation for some reason. You'd like to kind of end whatever this struggle is between the two of you, but you may feel powerless to do so. Let's see the outcome. Ten of Wands. Yeah, facing problems. Again, we have another ten. So I do feel like whatever this is, is coming to an end. I do see a lack of communication here and a lack of emotional expression. With the Ten of Wands, it's almost like, um, Sagittarius, you just don't know. In fact, both of you, you're recognizing that there's a lot of problems here, but the problems feel so overwhelming that you just don't know how to proceed forward. Um, in order to resolve them. So you both seem to be somewhat overwhelmed. 
bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords in the reverse. That's underlying energy, and it's the energy of, you know, not speaking, not, not speaking your truth, not talking. So let's clarify. Spirit-wise, the Queen of Cups here in the reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups here? All right, we have the Eight of Cups, and there's that Four of Coins again. So you may be holding the grudge here. Um, I do feel like you're still holding on to this person, at least emotionally, but somebody walked away in the connection. Um, it's indicating that you've walked away from this, but you're still holding on to this person. Uh, why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Very guarded energy though. All right, Three of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're growing impatient with the situation though. And it's it's um, the helplessness or the feeling of being powerless in the situation is causing you to grow a bit impatient. I see you moving forward. Um, it's not clear what direction you're moving towards I do feel like your money is coming in a little bit slower than what you had hoped, but there's a sense here that it, you have to move forward. So I see that you've walked away from the situation and you've decided maybe that your, your future is just not gonna be with this person or in this situation. And so you're deciding to move forward, um, although you're, you're moving rather slowly. Um, there's a sense here of incomplete business, like something here has not completely closed out. Yeah, the world in reverse and the star. Yeah, so you're hoping, you're hoping to be able to resolve these problems or work at these problems or to find a solution. So it's, there's a sense of loss, like there was something that was unfinished, incomplete here, um, unresolved business. And I do feel like you want to move forward. You are taking steps to do so. Um, you're balancing out your emotions, especially since you've had this loss. But I do feel that while you're feeling hopeful that you can, you know, work through this, there's something here that's just not complete. And that's what's making you feel powerless here and overwhelmed. So let me see their energy. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is this King of Cups in reverse spirit? All right, we have the King of Wands, the Three of Swords. Oh, they're feeling powerless as well. Seven of, seven of Coins reverse. So both of you would like to resolve whatever this issue is. This person is still very focused on you, but they're not expressing it. Um, they're feeling very hurt. They're feeling extremely hurt. And I feel like maybe they're the one that's holding on to the grudge more so than you. Um, you're both guarded, you're both feeling powerless in the situation, but this person is feeling extremely hurt. They are thinking about you though, and there is a, you know, a hope that someone is going to take action. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I feel like this person works very hard. Um, they're very secure, their money looks good, but they're, they're kind of holding back. They're, they're in deep thought. Yeah, they want to resolve the problems. Ten of Wands in the reverse. This person wants to resolve the problems. They may feel there's some dishonesty. It, there's an indication um, for some of you that this person feels there's been a third party, um, a third party in this situation, and this is why they're feeling so hurt. Now, I am seeing that this person may be a little bit angry still, but they're, and that's why they're focusing so much on their work or their money but they do want to resolve the issues between the two of you. This person can be a, a bit harsh in the way that they resolve things. So even though they may want to, and I feel like they're kind of recognizing that. I think that they're recognizing that they can be a bit harsh in their communication. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? All right, we have the... Four of Swords reversed and the Sun in reverse. So they're unhappy about how things are going. They're looking at the past. They're unhappy about how things have, have gone between the two of you. They're still healing. 
they're still healing. Um, this person has a broken heart and they're, they're trying to heal their energy. I do feel that they would like to communicate though. Um, why is the four of pentacles here? There's something that they don't see very clearly. And I think that they would like to communicate in order to, to understand or to figure something out. Why is the four of pentacles here? Ace of Cups, you have a lot of love for this person. You'd like a new beginning. Yeah, you're holding on to this person. They're holding on to you too. I do see that you have a lot of love for this person and that's why you're holding on to them. And yet you've walked away from the situation, neither of you expressing the feelings that you have. Um, I do feel that this person um, will either... It, it, it looks as if they're hoping that there's going to be an apology from you because they're broken hearted. Um, so I feel like they feel that they, that you may owe them an apology. They do have love for you though. They do have love for you and they are very much thinking about you. Let's look at what's affecting this connection. The chariot in reverse. Temperance in reverse. Five of Wands. There's the conflict and the Two of Swords. So yeah, um, what's affecting the connection is that it's stagnant. Nothing is moving forward here. Um, this is tragic to me because I can see that there is a lot of love here. Um, it's an unbalanced situation. Um, they, In fact, this Temperance is the card of Sagittarius in the major arcana. So this person feels that that uh, things are not moving forward and they feel that it's because you're you're not emotionally balanced here. You haven't balanced out your energies. I do feel that there is an imbalance definitely in the relationship and you both are aware of that. You experience internal conflict about that. Yeah, that may be what made you decide to, to move forward. I do see that there has been a lot of conflict here, and I feel like you feel kind of helpless. You want to end that conflict, and this person has made the decision to end that conflict as well. I do feel there's a lack of communication, but the person in your energy would like to communicate, um, and they've made the decision that they want to resolve the problems between the two of you. I do feel that this was a tower moment, even though we don't have the tower card. I do feel like this was a tower moment between the two of you. Let me see the outcome, please. Show me the outcome. It's like you. there's been a conflict here that kind of tipped things over the edge. Show me the outcome. Queen of Wands. King of Swords reversed, and the King of Cups reversed. So in your outcome, I do feel like you're going to have more control over this outcome than the other person, but I feel like you're very overwhelmed right now, Sagittarius. You might be overwhelmed with financial issues, um, this unresolved conflict here with the, you and this person. So I do feel like you're extremely overwhelmed. That being said, you're also showing up here as, you know, being somebody who is very much in your power, whether you're aware of it or not. It's like you're you're very much in charge of this situation. You're the one who has the greatest influence on the situation. And I can see that you're very much in your power, but you're you're so overwhelmed with, you know, whatever's taking place. Like I said, financial problems, conflicts that you don't realize it. You don't realize how much power you exert over this situation. Um, with the King of Swords in the reverse, you also have some anger in this situation. Um, the person in your energy may feel that you were dishonest with them. Um, but even so, they still, and, and that's why they're expecting an apology from you. Um, you both can have very cutting um, words, the way that you either think or the way that you communicate primarily. Both of you can be rather cutting. I do see, though, that, um, and that's a big problem in the, the communication. I do see that you realize that things are not complete here. There's unfinished business. 
it's like there was a big conflict. Somebody just walked away from the situation and is feeling so overwhelmed that they're unable to see how to, how to resolve it. And the way you resolve this, Sagittarius, is take your power back. Now, the person that's in your energy does want to talk with you. I do feel like they've been, um, there's some things they don't see very clearly. They're trying to heal their energy here. But the past keeps, um, keeps them from really seeing the love in the situation. And I can see you have a lot of love. But something from the past here is causing them, whether it's third-party situation or heartbreak, there's something in the situation that's preventing them from seeing that love. So they want to communicate. They want to talk with you. But when they do, they're not going to communicate with emotion. They're still going to be holding those emotions back. They're still going to be, you know, very reserved. And it's very difficult, I feel, for this person to express their emotions, especially if they feel that there has been dishonesty or there's been third-party situations here. So bottom of the deck is a seven of swords. Um, this is a card of deception. It could be self-deception. It could be, you know, deception that is, you know, within this relationship. But there's an indication that somebody here has lied. Um, they haven't spoken truthfully and that there's been deception. And that's underlying this, this entire reading. So... The way to handle this, the way to see past this and not feel helpless about the situation is to take charge and to understand what it is that you want and then move in that direction. But you have far more influence than what you are, you're, than what you're realizing. So let's see if there's any messages from your person. Spirit, I'm looking for messages from two Sagittarius from their person. Messages. To Sagittarius from their person. It's like something went wrong here and neither of you knows how to get it back on track. Alright, let's see what we have. quite a few messages actually so this um if these messages don't apply to you um you'll know so just uh take the messages because this is for many people not just one so take the messages that apply to you um the first message we have is second option second option this is um maybe this person felt like they were a second option if there was especially if there was third party that you didn't choose them except for all it is worth. Yeah, and this is indicating that there was some sort of a tidal wave or there was some sort of a, um, a tower moment, if you will. And this person is trying to just accept it, accept what has taken place. Influence and distractions. Yeah, so this person is um, feeling like there's a lot of distractions and they may be feeling like, like I said, that you have a greater influence. They may also feel like somebody has influenced you and that may have caused this uh, conflict. It's never over. So they don't feel like this is over either. And allow for time and space. Yeah. So this person needs some time. They need a little bit of space um, in order to process things through. We see that they're deep in thought here. And I, I think this is just going to take some time. Yeah, it's going to take some time. And this person is healing as well. So just remember that you don't want to be listening to what everybody is telling you, Sagittarius. Some people may be giving you bad advice. Um, and in addition to that, remember that whatever this situation is, it is incomplete. I'm seeing it in their messages. I see it in your energy. Um, but it just needs a little time in order to, to resolve, in order to maybe let the internal emotions die down so that there can be, you know, discussion here. All right. I hope that there has been, uh, something in this reading that has helped you. 
If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you in the next reading, namaste.